Well, our entertainment critic Ryan Jay is back. He's got a few new movies for the weekend. Hi, Ryan. Hello. hello. And hello. Hello. <laughs> to you and you and you. And you. Okay, so let's break down some of these. I had not heard of a lot of these yet, so I'm excited. Drive Away Dolls, rated R. This is in theaters. And this is written and directed by Ethan Cohn, who previously did films like No Country for Old yeah. Men, Fargo, The Big Lebowski, and this is typical of his brand of filmmaking. It has shocking violence, sex, love, quirky characters, someone's got a weird dialect. Delicious. <laughs> so what do you think of the cast here? It's a good cast. We have Margaret Qualley and Geraldine Viswath Nathan. We've got Beanie Feldstein. They're the main uh, performers. But then also in smaller roles, we have Pedro Pascal and Coleman Domingo, current oh. Oscar Best Actor nominee for Rustin. Mm -hmm. And then there's Matt Damon in a really funny role. And Miley Cyrus even makes an uncredited appearance. Ooh, wow. uncredited. Yeah. Interesting. How do you compare it to other Coen Brothers films? Well, it's typical in the sense that tonally it's the same kind of mix up and chase and it's got that violence that kind of comes out of nowhere and shocks you and it's like mm. you know you think of those films and I like that stuff but, but at this point in his career it's feeling a little formulaic mm. and it's less surprising it almost feels it's like being a little bit desperate to be edgy as opposed to others were effortlessly edgy and although it's under 90 minutes the pacing was a little off it felt longer than that to me which is mm. not really the best thing you want to do you know, and so are you thinking skip it? I, no, it's actually a stream. But there's some weird psychedelic animations as well in the film that like really took me but out. Don't of it, but don't pay to go to the yeah, theater. Yeah, I'm saying you don't have to see it in the theater. This is not okay. one. You know, if you're a diehard Coen Brothers uh, fan, yeah. maybe check it out in the theater because you'll know you know you'll want to just add that to your memory collection mm -hmm. of their films. But otherwise, wait till it's streaming. Okay. All right. The next one, Ordinary Angels, PG in theaters as well. This is directed by John Gunn, who does faith-based movies. He did The Case for Christ, and yeah. he did uh, Do You Believe? And this is um, based on a true story, but it is also the first 20 minutes are kind of like a Lifetime movie. Uh, but then it turns really good and very strong. It, it sinks its teeth in after that with good subplots, and the performances really widen. But who's in it? Yeah, what's her name again? This is two-time oh. Oscar winner Hilary Swank. Yes. Yeah, why could I not remember her name? Million yeah. Dollar Baby. Right, and um, she co-stars with that's Reacher star from uh, Prime Video, Alan Richson, in a leading man role here. And what's great about Hilary is uh, she's doing an interesting access, a accent as well. She's a hairdresser. In this place, it takes place in Texas, and it is, um, or no, it's not Texas. I, I apologize. The other film was, but she is doing a very Aaron Brockovich type impression. Oh. The story, some of the way that it's edited, her character, her look, her it reminded me of that tone. She's an I underdog. I can see that. Yeah, yeah someone who kind of has nothing but can. It's the David and Goliath story. You can come from nothing but really make a huge change. Okay. Yourself. Okay, mm -hmm. um, so are you suggesting we see it? Yeah, well, it's the true story is great. I'd say see it. This one actually, re I really liked it. It yeah. really touched me, and I think it's well edited, well written. It's not heavy handed with faith, um, yeah. which isn't a bad thing when appropriate to a story. But I just love that you know it's a true story, and it honors the story beautifully and the people in it, and it it's feel good. Oh, I, like I like true that. story yeah. ones. Mm -hmm. That's one I think I would want to see. Not, I'm not mm -hmm. saying it. No spoilers. So I'm not saying it's a happy ending, but I am saying oh. it's feel good. Okay, oh. I got gotcha. <laughs> you. There you go. What about Freud's Last Session? This is PG-13 on demand. This movie was released limited last, like late last year in December, but just this week is released on demand. And I was very interested in it because it sounds like a very, very cool movie. This is based on a play, which was based on a book written by a pro clinical professor of psychiatry at Harvard Medical School and the Massachusetts General Hospital. And it imagines this meeting between Sigmund Freud, played by Anthony Hopkins, and C.S. Lewis, played by Matthew Good. Ooh. Wow. Mm -hmm. So good. Okay, so what are the themes? Because anything Freudian could be interesting. Right? Seriously. <laughs> well, it takes place late in life, uh, about a week before Freud uh, dies. And Freud was an atheist, and uh, Lewis was a Christian apologist. So, of course, they debate about psychoanalysis, yeah. God, love, sex, the meaning of life. And it's so, it's deep, and it's interesting, and... It, but but you don't you, they, neither of them really convince you or win the debate. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. I thought you were going to say the opposite. So it's huh. on demand. Would mm -hmm. you would you would you watch it? Well, I would. That's the thing. It's le I'd say stream it. It's worth you know a rental. 
Um, it's I less about the debate. One. It's it's less about the debate and more about um, focusing on these men at this point in their lives and yeah. their like, biographies and wh how their life's experience got them to believe what they believe. Or and don't they're believe. so legendary. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. both of them. You yeah. said C.S. Lewis was a, a something apologist. Christian, Christian apologist. So like he's apologizing for no, it. No, uh, you mean I looked, you're saying I looked it up and he wrote a book um, uh, called about Christian mm -hmm. apologism apology and what that means is you defend you're defending Christianity mm -hmm. yeah because he was very interesting on that topic and like mm -hmm. a lot of people feel like those books for children Narnia uh, his Narnia, the Narnia books, books mm -hmm. were yeah. they do Aslan is very Christ like yes. he comes you know he is risen again yeah. and things and yeah I love those movies and those books fascinating so mm -hmm. huh. okay that's called Freud's last session I yeah. think I want to see all mm -hmm. three of these yeah they're yeah no regrets okay mm -hmm. all right mm -hmm. You can follow Ryan J on social media, <laughs> Ryan J Reviews, for his full archive of entertainment reviews. You won't regret it if you uh, decide to go no to regrets. Ryan J Reviews. See, stream or regret. <laughs> yeah, right, seriously, that should be it. <laughs>